Good morning. A short video here. It's uh, end of June, June 25th or so. I'm out in the spring wheat, which is looking pretty good. It's been a dry year, but that's good for the wheat. I'm not sure how much germination I got down in here on my uh, underseeded uh, bursim clover, but we'll see once the wheat comes off in six weeks or so, four, six weeks. I'm out here today with my, uh, what is it, weed whacker FS-130 with the saw blade on it because I've got patches of thistle out here. I've cut, I don't know if you could see, it'll show up, but I've cut. A little bit that's up here next to my van next to the cemetery it's pretty good but then you get down I'm not sure if it's gonna show up but right out there there's a big patch that's a tank so I I burned up a tank of uh, fuel up here next to the van I'll go back fill up I've got a patch here like I mentioned I got to do that patch and then on the other side of the farm, farmstead, I'm 12 miles south of the main farm right now. There's 100 acres of wheat down here. There's more, at least two tanks on the other side of that farm stand. I know there's patches of thistle. Uh, it's already 80 degrees and it's 7.30 in the morning, so I'm trying to get this done. But I guess I'm happy with how the wheat looks, given the conditions. And this is the first time I planted spring wheat. Um... But it, it's really, I don't know how to say it, nice to see. There might be 1% of the ground in uh, Wisconsin that's planted to wheat, primarily corn, beans, and alfalfa, hay. Um, I always knew I had a thistle problem here, but this, um, well, apparently the only way to get rid of it is to keep hacking at it. I've got ideas, but none of them really fit with cash cropping. Um, thanks for watching, and um, we'll keep you updated as things move along here. Bye for now.